hi and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new permanent debt module in my apartment development model. Now for some context, uh, I released this model in early 2018. It came out in beta and it was meant to be a merchant build model, meaning it was meant to cover, cover scenarios where uh, you built, leased up, and then sold the property. And as a result, you didn't need permanent debt, right? Construction debt got you to stabilization and you sold at that stage. However, over this time, since coming out of beta and, and over the, the shoot near 10 or more iterations that this model has gone through over that, that period of time, got a lot of requests for the option to model uh, beyond stabilization. Or in other words, to take out the construction loan with a permanent loan and uh, model a build to core type scenario. And so this permanent debt module allows for that. Now to activate the module, you'll come to your underwriting tab and head into the investment period cash flow section. We can either click here or just scroll through to it. And at the bottom of this, you're gonna see now a blue section entitled permanent debt. And the label here will tell you whether the module has been activated or not. And then you have a toggle here Right now we have no permanent debt, uh, which means that at a sale, what, right? We're just paying off construction, a construction loan and that sale occurs here month 39. However, if we come and we turn on permanent debt, what happens is we now have uh, the option to fund permanent debt in some month. And by default, it's set to fund in the first stabilized month. And now you have a payoff month for your construction debt that uh, coincides with the funding of the permanent loan. And then we have just some basic loan assumptions. And over time, as, as I uh, have more time, uh, I'll add the ability to model floating rate debt. Uh, right now you can toggle between all IO or amortizing. I'll add in the future the option to have partial IO. Uh, and then you have loan amount, which by default is set to be the payoff of the construction loan, but you could have a higher loan amount for your permanent debt so that you get some uh, equity return at this point. So once you toggle on the module, it tells you it's active now, and you can come down and you're gonna find, for instance now, a debt service section within your operating cash flows. And before that wasn't the case because it was a merchant build model, uh, all of the debt service was built into our investment cash flow section. Now we have a debt service only when the permanent debt modules turn on, turned on. And then down here within the uh, property level cash flow section, you're going to see permanent loan funding, uh, permanent loan debt service, and you can track that relative to the cash flow from operations, which you can again also do within the operating cash flow section. And then we have permanent loan payoff. However, when we come back up, we toggle this off, likewise, the, likewise those sections disappear, right? Uh, and that way you can toggle between merchant build scenarios and build the core scenarios. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on how to use the permanent debt module. Uh, again, I'll be making updates to it as I hear from you and, and uh, as I find things that need to be uh, updated on my end. Otherwise, uh, thanks for your time today.